Um, today, I am talking about the importance of play. So I'm going to go ahead and like, you know, do this little, this little background thing here that allows you to be reminded of what the topic is. How cool is that? So I've really been thinking about the importance of play lately. And the reason why partially is because my dad just passed away. And as I was going through all the photographs, it occurred to me that the times that we took photographs were when we were playing or celebrating. And how those are the moments that mark your life. This idea that we spend, um, my dad was a serial entrepreneur, um, I'm an entrepreneur, and uh, we spend a lot of time working when we're entrepreneurs, we, we really do. But my dad also loved to play. Um, he was an avid hunter, and he was a Yankee fan, this is his hat. Um, and he owned a bicycle shop for years. So let me just show you this picture of my dad's bicycle shop. <laughs> so that's me, little Chunkamunka on the front little little bike with the, with the um, um, training wheels, right? So you get where my love of two wheels came from. And that's my brother behind me. Um, and he, he's with, evidently, I didn't realize how popular this bicycle was until I posted this picture. Um, and then my mom is in back with, hey, Donna. Yeah, go Yankees. All right, Donna. Um, and um, that's my mom back there with the striped shirt on. And my dad, of course, is the cash register, and there's a the customer. And so we these photographs were taken when my dad first opened his bicycle shop. And, you know, it was a really huge undertaking. My dad opened one of the largest bicycle shops in the Northeast. He opened it in Vermont, of all places, which is very um, – uh, touristy, but also it has a, a very strong winter tourism um, entrepreneur world, right? So to have a, um, a summer related, a spring related business um, in Vermont, super hard. But look at the sign behind it. It says, ride a Schwinn for good health. It's fun. And you know what's funny? I never remembered that being there when I was a kid. And it just really struck me as my dad was passing that the bicycle was all about having fun. You know, we often think back on, on my dad's time with his bicycle shop is very stressful because it was stressful. It was a lot of hard work, you know, and my dad was a very serious guy. Um, but bicycles are all about happiness. And one person after another, hey, Chris, one person after another, posted about how they bought their bicycle from my dad and mom and how that bicycle stayed in the family. And in fact, one of my girlfriends, my girlfriend, Sarah Wheeler, is still um, has her bicycle that my parents sold her and her parents um, sold her parents. And, you know, she was a kid when she got it um, a long time before, you know. So I just think it's really interesting that um, my father was such a hard worker, but um, his legacy was left with like a, like a whole litany of pe people having fun. So it just really made me think about the importance of fun. The other thing was um, my, my parents had a, a series of pictures. These are my parents. It was about the time that they got engaged. And my um, I'm just going on here to check in with my guests here and make sure they know to not sign on quite yet. Um, my, my dad and mom had a series of photographs taken on my uncle's boat. Um, and there was just a, a bunch of really great photographs of them playing on my grandfather's yacht in, in Long Island. And I just thought it was really super cool that my dad and mom had all this fun when they were younger, you know, and as I went through my dad's um, pictures from when he was in the service, they were all of them playing on the beach and, and having fun. And so here's my mom and dad. My mom is about 18 here and my dad is 26. <laughs> he robbed the cradle, right? So I mean, look at them and they are just relaxing and having fun. And so I, I looked up, you know, of course, I did a little research 
And um, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see my notes, okay? There's, there's 50 states right now, 50 cities across the country that have been creating playgrounds that are specifically for adults and their grandchildren where they can physically play. So physical playgrounds with, and it was just posted on, on Growing Boulder this morning. I thought it was interesting that that post came up. Um, it was, it's interesting to me because cities are starting to realize that to get seniors out and moving is good for their core strength, it's good for their mental health, and it's also good for their grandchildren. So they're actually starting to build playgrounds that are built both for grandparents and children to physically play together. That's how important play has become in our city. And they have these, these kinds of playgrounds in China and also in Spain. And so the reason why play is so important is that it increases your creativity, your imagination, your physical, cognitive, and emotional strength. So I was so touched when I came home and my partner had fixed his motorcycle because, and I'll show you a picture of us riding together this past weekend. And this really kind of, a lot of what the articles that I read um, just pre-interview were all about communication skills and um, liter literacy, um, hearing and seeing new things. It increases your vocabulary. It, it makes you be spontaneous. It gives you the opportunity to choose, but it also helps with socialization. So here's my partner, Doc, and I, and there's the bike with the new with the, with the new handlebars on there so I can reach them and turn correctly. And, and there's our friends and I out for a ride on uh, this past Sunday. And, you know, the, the funny thing about socializing is I have no idea what most of those people do for a living. I know who they are based upon our relationship with each other and communicating and laughing with each other and being silly with each other. And I think we spend so much time in our working lives not doing that. And even some major corporations now are starting to incorporate play more into um, their daily work situations by creating, you know, bringing ping pong tables in and pool tables and that kind of thing. So I just think that this is super important. Um, and, you know, for weeks afterwards, all of these guys that are on bicycles were talking about my brother's <laughs> banana seat on his bicycle and how they had one and how they had such fond memories of it and, and how um, important that, that, that bike was to them and, you know, who they rode the bike with. And, you know, it just occurred to me that my dad and mom left a legacy far behind them and it was all about play. It wasn't about work. You know, and when we were when we were putting my dad to rest, we weren't standing at his bedside saying, you know, Frank, when you get to heaven, you're going to work more. What they were talking about is when you get to heaven, you're going to be at the happy hunting grounds. You're going to be there with your son. You're going to be able to go out and go fishing and hiking and 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 shoot again and just, you know, love nature. We weren't talking about all the toughness of life. We were talking all about play. So that just really made me think about the fact that not only is it super smart to, to, to play based upon the fact that it relieves stress and it increases imagination and creativity, it also um, increases optimism when you play. So um, I think it's important to play, and, and, and the, the uh, Washington Post actually um, and firstthingsfirst.org both agree with me that not only does it help to generate optimism and, and creativity and positivity, but it also attracts the opposite sex. You know, because <laughs> the most important thing you can do for a girl, guys, is make her laugh. I mean, it's absolutely true. And when you think about it, the moments in your relationship that you're most happy are when you're playing together, you know, when you're doing things like this, when you're out there playing, you know, and we're about to talk to Myron and Laura. Um, they are health coaches and um, nutrition experts, and they have lost 219, released 219 pounds together. And this is a big part of their story um, was about, and, and, and uh, here's, here's Donna in the, in, the, in the ground saying that happy hiding grounds for sure. And here's Myron saying awesome. Okay. Um, they're listening in and Myron's going to talk about you know, Myron and Laura are going to talk about how play was incorporated into their weight loss story, but also their business story. And so is Donna. So I'm going to sign out of here and I'm going to go scoop up um, Myron and Laura. And we're going to talk about how play is an important part of exercise. Because I think sometimes we think that if you're going to start paying attention to your nutrition and your fitness level, it's going to be drudgery. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be, it's not going to be this kind of fun. It's going to be just awful.
you know? And I think that when we approach exercise and life and business with a spirit of playfulness, that's really what life's all about. You know, I make art and part of making art is all about play. You know, some of it's serious as communicating and it's about skill and it's all that kind of stuff. But mostly for me, all this stuff behind me is about playing with paint. You know, it's about playing with words. It's about thinking about the conjunction between concepts and images and, and color. And it's all about play. So really, my dad should have spent more time on earth playing baseball and hunting more often and riding his bicycle more often is what I think. Um, because, you know, hard work is really important, but I also think that hard play is equally, if not more so important. The reason why you work is so you can play. <laughs> That's the truth. So I'm going to sign out of here and I'm going to go get Myron and Laura. And um, I hope you've gotten something out of this little episode. And, you know, I just want to close with this little picture of my parents. Look at them. <laughs> 18 and 26 years old. My dad died at 86 of lymphoma. And uh, I can tell you unequivocally that he did not um, go out um, softly. He, he definitely uh, went out fighting. Uh, but I think the thing my dad is most excited about right now is to be in heaven hunting with his son, having fun with his son, you know? So there you go. That's my story today. And st I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to jump out of here and go get Myron and Laura. Come on back in a couple seconds, guys. <laughs>